God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. The banners of the King go forth, the gleaming mystery of the cross, by which the Maker of all flesh was yoked in flesh upon the wood. Where wounded as he hung on high, by ruthless blade of sharpened spear, there flowed forth water mixed with blood to wash us clean from every sin. O noble tree with blood adorned, the splendid purple of the King, wood chosen from a worthy stock to touch and bear such holy limbs. O blessed tree whose branches bore the price and ransom of the world. Like scales it weighed the body's worth and bore away the spoils of hell. Hail, altar, victim, sacrifice, for glory gained through grief and death, by which our life endured to die, and through his death restored our life. O cross, all hail, our only hope, in this most holy passion tide, increase the grace of loving hearts and rid the guilty of their sin. O triune God, let all sing praise. To you the font of saving grace. Sustain forever those you save by wondrous mystery of the cross. Amen. Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching you, and you did not lay hands on me. Now you come to scourge me and lead me to the cross. Your word is a lamp for my steps and a light for my path. I have sworn and have made up my mind to obey your decrees. Lord, I am deeply afflicted. By your word, give me life. Accept, Lord, the homage of my lips and teach me your decrees. Though I carry my life in my hands, I remember your law. Though the wicked try to ensnare me, I do not stray from your precepts. Your will is my heritage forever, the joy of my heart. I set myself to carry out your will, 
in fullness forever. Gloria Patria et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching you, and you did not lay hands on me. Now you come to scourge me and lead me to the cross. The Lord my God is my help. No shame can harm me. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. He has put into my heart a marvelous love for the faithful ones who dwell in his land. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrow. Never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed the heritage that falls to me. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand happiness forever. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. The Lord my God, is my help, no shame can harm me. The Lord Jesus humbled himself by showing obedience, even when this meant death, death on a cross. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of man. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Gloria Patria et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. The Lord Jesus humbled himself by showing obedience, even when this meant death, 
death on a cross. Realize that you were delivered from the futile way of life your fathers handed on to you, not by any diminishable sum of silver or gold, but by Christ's blood beyond all price, the blood of a spotless, unblemished lamb, chosen before the world's foundation and revealed for your sake in these last days. It is through him that you are believers in God, the God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory. Your faith and hope then are centered in God. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your cross you have redeemed the world, we praise you. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. We worship you, O Christ. And we praise you. Ave Rex Noster, Fili David, Redem Profete predixerunt Salva torem domui Israel Esse venturum Magnificat Anima mea domini Et exultavit spiritus meus, in Deo salutari meu. Quia respectit humilitatem ancile sue, et ceenem ex hoc beata medicent omnis generationis. Quia fecit mici mania qui potens est, et sanctum nomen neu. Et misericordieus a progenie in progenies, dimensibus eum. Fecit potentiam in brachio suo, dispersit superbos mente corti sui. Deposuit potentes de sete, et exaltavit humil. Esuriente simple vit bonis, et divites dimisit in annes. Sushepit Israel puerum suum, recordatus misericordiae sue. Sicut locutus est ad patres nostros, Abraham et semini eus in secula. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicuterat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Ave Rex Noster, Fili David, Redem Tor Mundi, Quam Provete Predixerunt, Salvatorem Domui Israel, Esse venturum.
Before his passion, Christ looked out over Jerusalem and wept for it, because it had not recognized the hour of God's visitation. With sorrow for our sins, let us adore him and say, Lord, have mercy on your people. You long to gather to yourself the people of Jerusalem as the hen gathers her young. Teach all peoples to recognize the hour of your visitation. Lord, have mercy on your people. Do not forsake those who have forsaken you. Turn our hearts to you, and we will return to you, our God. Lord, have mercy on your people. Through your passion you gave grace to the world. Help us to live always by your Spirit given to us in baptism. Lord, have mercy on your people. By your passion, help us to deny ourselves, and so prepare to celebrate your resurrection. Lord, have mercy on your people. You reign in the glory of the Father. Remember those who have died today. Lord, have mercy on your people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty and ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering, and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Dominus nos benedicat, et ab omni malo defendat, et ad vitam perducat eterna. Amen.